So, the theme. Ritual. The college is hosting its first game jam. It's in association with the Global Game Jam, which is hosted all globally, to be perfectly honest. We, they have over 600 sites, starting from Japan all the way to Hawaii. Because we get a bunch of people together, uh, they can split out into different teams and go solo. It's ultimately up to them, and they have to whip out a game in a very short period of time, 48 hours. I am going solo. Last year I did do the Game Jam with a pretty good group. This year I just want to try doing something on my own because one of the things that looks good on our portfolio is being able to do a lot of jobs. Fun thing to do, uh, it also looks good on our portfolio. And uh, it's usually just a lot of fun and people learn a lot of stuff here. Like we heard some stories where people learn more in like one jam than they do in like two months of school. We have a lot of artists on our team and only about one programmer, so we're pretty much all going to try to keep the art as simple as possible so we can all pretty much contribute to programming so we can help them out. But. I want to do at least like two player. The Metro platform, I think. But we have to make a decision. Do we want multiple players or better gameplay? When you leave the college, you have a set portfolio, which you can say, hey, I did this for the course. A lot of game companies are looking for what you do outside the course. Well, game development should be a passion. It shouldn't just be a job. So one of the ways you do passionate work is by doing it in your free time. The Game Jam is a perfect example for this. Well, we can still do the out of play so deal like the first set because obviously we're not going to have a square and square world. We're going to have a triangle and like a square world. And then obviously we're going to do the isometric style. Yeah. Actually, so I really want to grow Niagara as a kind of game development hub. And the jam is kind of the first step towards that because what we want to do is we want to get people, not just students kind of growing and getting experience here, we want to pull game developers from other areas. We want to become a hub just like Montreal is or just like San Fran is. We want to get game developers here developing games. We have the people here, we have the talent that went to places like Rockstar or Ubisoft. If we get this hub growing, we can have that kind of drive in the games industry. We can have that, oh, I can't wait for that next big hit from X Games Studio, and have kind of a global economy working just within Niagara. This whole thing has a whole deeper meaning. This whole thing is to build that community, to get game developers here, and to express what we feel and what we do, because gaming is a sense of art, but in the same sense, it's an expression of ourselves.